Hey Aquarius, this is Chloe from Sagittarius Soul Tarot here. I'm going to be doing an um, end of November reading for you. Um, it's for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or just like any cross watcher or people in general that are curious. Um, even though we have two days left in November, this could go into like next month or next year. I'm just going to do past, present, future um, reading for you to see what's going on. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. I know I am. Glad I'm off today. Just gonna be posting some videos here for the channel and having fun with my new tarot cards that I got. So let's get into it here. Yes. Okay, so I'm doing the past, present, and future reading. So here's the past here. I'm gonna move the cards up a little bit. Sorry if you can't see them that well. I'm trying to get where you can see as much as I can. Then here's a card for the present energy of like how you're feeling in the present moment, in the future. Okay. In the past, you have the Ace of Wands. Okay, the Six of Wands. And then the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I feel like here there was some kind of um, positive um, energy here that was going on. Uh, it left you feeling where you were like replenished. You weren't um, stressed about anything. You were happy. I feel like something good came into your life that left you with a victory. It's like, yay. So something good entered your life here. And it left you feeling just whatever you were feeling in the past, you felt so much better. Like it was just kind of like you could take a breath and have something good happen. Okay, let's go on, let's go on with the Ace of Wands here for Aquarius and the, um, the past energy. That's a good start to the reading, something positive here. It's great. Usually it starts off kind of negative. So the Temperance, yes. And the world, so yeah, like I feel like you controlled your emotions and something good that like, came into here. So with the Ace of Wands, I feel like you were happy and content, something great. Some kind of good, happy, positive cycle started here. Something that you maybe were wishing for actually came true here. So why is there a victory of the Six of Wands for Aquarius? Yeah, I feel like this is great. I feel like something really good is going on. Eight of Wands, somebody came towards you really quick. Or they reached out to you and then, um, told you how they felt. The Nine of Swords in reverse. So yeah, like you weren't losing sleep over a situation. You were like feeling happy and excited. Like something good was coming in your way here. And yeah, and the Four of um, Swords in reverse. Like you weren't losing sleep over a situation anymore. You weren't stressed or burdened. Okay, let's do this. Why were you feeling like happy and rejuvenated here one second the nine of wands in reverse though let's get another one the star in reverse so maybe something that wasn't a wish fulfillment here um you came towards something else maybe okay i feel like overall something good happened here Okay, so in the um, present moment, you got the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Wow, this is looking good. But then also the Four of Cups. Okay, so it's like, I feel like there's a lot of like water energy here because these are all like water. So I feel like you're dealing with like maybe a Pisces, uh, Scorpio or Cancer here. So I feel like you guys are rushing in with a lot of love here. Um, but also like maybe you're feeling bored or they're feeling bored in the connection. Like, there's some kind of sense of boredom. Maybe it started off real hot and heavy, and then now it's kind of like, you know. So, let's see what's going on with the Queen of Cups. The High Priestess. And the Hermit in Reverse. Maybe someone's uh, trusting their intuition. Maybe it, like, seemed too good to be true. And you're like, okay, well, this person, they seem like everything I wanted. But now maybe you're coming to the conclusion, like... Is this really, maybe you're seeing something or found out something and it's like, oh, maybe this is like too good to be true. Okay. Nine of cups. Let's see here for the present. 
it's almost like rushing in to give you their emotions here or give you some kind of love proposal the sun in reverse okay and the moon so maybe they're keeping secrets about um the happiness they have with you like maybe or like you're kind of maybe like you're keeping secrets how you feel about this person maybe this is just too much and you're just kind of hiding how you feel and you're kind of bored in the connection and you're not telling that person that it's like maybe they're rushing in too fast and now you're just kind of like why are they coming at me so fast here you know like why is this so like quick maybe they're already trying to like marry you or propose to you and it's like i've dated you for a month why are you trying to marry me you know so why are you feeling bored here the four of cups in the present let's see what's going on here i feel like you're just kind of blocking this person out or not giving more into it you're just kind of bored yeah the king of cups in reverse three of swords so um maybe somebody here like Maybe the King of Cups in reverse. Maybe you're not really giving. Someone's like breaking your heart here. Or you feel kind of like heartbroken by something like in the past. Or the love that they give you. It's like kind of just. Like you just feel like overall they're just going to break your heart. So maybe you're scared to like get this love in here. You're kind of bored. Or you're breaking this person's heart because you're not giving them love here. Yeah, I feel like someone getting their heart broken i feel like it's the person that you're dealing with because it's like you know i feel like there's so many good cards here but i feel like the other person is just very hesitant like they're just kind of like trusting their intuition and they're like i don't know okay how you feel in the current situation the page of swords i feel like you're being kind of you're just not really giving them much talking like you're not telling them much about how you feel yeah like with the sun and the moon here i feel in reverse i feel like you're keeping like, you're scared you're going to break this person's heart, so you're just kind of, like, not telling them how you feel. You're just being secretive and kind of closed off. I feel like you're kind of scared here. Okay, why is the Page of Swords here for the feelings of how you feel in the current situation? Yeah, I feel like you're just scared to, like, tell someone how you truly feel because you're, like, you don't want to hurt them. So you're just telling them a little bit, maybe kind of embellishing, like... Just saying kind of like what they want you to say. But it's not really... Yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're not taking action here. The Ace of Pentacles. Maybe... Um, maybe you want some new start with somebody else here. And you're really kind of afraid to tell them that. Okay. Or maybe there's like some kind of third party situation. Or you... Um, Maybe have love for somebody else here and you're wanting to take some new opportunity and you're scared to tell that person that. Okay, in the future, you got the world in reverse, the star in reverse, ace of pentacles in reverse. I feel like some kind of, like this maybe isn't like ending here. I feel like some kind of situation's not coming to full closure or you're like resisting it too. Okay, why is the world in reverse here for Aquarius for the future? I feel like there's some kind of cycle that's not being ended here. The Hierophant in reverse, Six of Pentacles, so maybe it's some kind of marriage. Oh, wait, there's another one I think mixed in. Yeah, the Lovers. Okay, so I feel like maybe you're not wanting to end some kind of commitment with this person because you do see fulfillment. This is like the love somebody you have love for here and that's why the cycle is not ending even though maybe you did you were thinking about finding somebody else some new offer or a new job but maybe um i feel like yeah like this was like your wish fulfillment at one point but it's like you're being secretive or maybe maybe you are ending or it could be this way maybe you're still kind of keeping that person on the back burner and afraid to end this connect connection even though maybe you found somebody else here I feel like you're kind of being secretive of the star in reverse. You're not really speaking up about something. Okay, why is the star in reverse? I feel like maybe there's somebody else here. Like you found some other person that gives you happiness. Or something more fulfilling here. The page of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of afraid to speak up about it. The page of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're kind of scared to give emotion 
without putting much motion into it either. Okay, and you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you're kind of afraid of some kind of proposal or offer here. You're refusing it. You have the Strength in reverse. You just don't know if you can take that on. Whatever's being offered here. You got Page of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're just afraid to take some kind of action here. Because maybe there is somebody else that you're thinking about or you just don't really know if it's the right decision for you. Like, almost like it's too good to be true. Like, you don't really know overall if this is what, like, the connection that you want. Okay, let's do a little romance card here. I'm going to do a couple of them. See more of, like, kind of what's going on. So, engagement. Maybe somebody, um is wanting to like propose. I feel like there's some kind of proposal that you're just kind of like, I don't know if this is what I'm wanting here. Yeah, you got soulmate. So this is like your soulmate and there is gonna be like, maybe they're committing to you, but you're kind of afraid, yeah, a wedding. I feel like you're just kind of scared to take this on though. Deception, maybe you're hiding from them how you feel, but it's like they wanna like propose to you, they wanna marry you, they want higher commitment with you, but you just kind of see it being like too good to be true here. get a couple of these that's funny like all this is all like what I said in the reading that's so crazy I just knew like the way it started like it was just gonna be like a real intense reading okay get a couple of cards here all right so you have the hottest love has the coldest end okay Stop criticizing yourself. You're perfect just the way you are. Souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. So yeah, maybe um, like this is a soulmate connection, but you're afraid of telling that person. Maybe you're just not ready for a marriage or you're scared of the fact of being committed maybe to them or just in general. Alrighty, so um, thank you all for watching the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, that was the end of the video here. So um, enjoy your day. And I would like it if you liked and subscribed to me. Thank you for watching, everybody.